Hello and welcome to Animal Care. Over the next few minutes I'll be talking to you about how wonderful the Animal Care qualification is and why it might just be the best course that you choose for your GCSE options. So some of you may already have an idea of what the Animal Care course is about and you may have seen our students around the club classrooms and the corridors or handling our animals or you may know someone that does the animal care and for those of you that don't I'm going to give you a very quick little rundown of why it might be the perfect option for you. Over the two years the animal care qualification will require you to handle animals. You will need to show that you can carefully look after them, carry out checks on the animals to make sure they're healthy, identify common diseases of animals, um, but perhaps the student's favourite um, time with the animals has always just been the cuddles and the grooming and the looking after and that certainly makes up a big um, portion of the course. Um, here on this slide here you can just see some of our past students um, enjoying a range of animals that we've had over the years. Now these change continuously to try and keep the course exciting. So we've had micro pigs, little mini pigs in the past, we've had puppies, we're going to big dogs now. So it continues to change but what doesn't change is the hands-on experience you will get in handling some of our wonderful animals at Saltash. So the whole purpose of this qualification is just really to inspire and motivate anyone that was maybe perhaps considering a career in the animal care sector or maybe you just enjoy animals, you like working with animals, you might have a pet at home, you might not necessarily want a career in animals, but you fancy a GCSE in a subject that you love. Um, and this would certainly be a good choice for you. Um, it gives you an opportunity also to get an overview, an overview of the different skills. Um, that people working with animals need, such as the health requirements of an animal, um, common diseases, um, and health and safety legislation that goes with working in the animal sector. If you are passionate about working with animals, this could be your gateway into a level three qualification. It might be that you've already picked one at Duchy, um, or it might be that you want to go off to um, somewhere else and look at um, veterinary nurse or, or something similar. So it can be a gateway or an entry course into another qualification. But it also gives you some great employability skills. Okay, so you'll be actually doing real work related um, tasks and employers love that because you get to show that you can work independently, follow a task and see it through to, pr 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 to the end, <laughs> see it through to the end um, in an enjoyable way. So not just working and stuck in a classroom, but being out there and doing practical, active learning. So in terms of what you'll be doing as part of the course, I've already, I think, made it quite clear that a lot of what you do will be hands-on. It will be practical-based or it will be work-based scenarios such as um, an animal has come into a shelter and you need to assess it and um, check that it's healthy, etc., etc. So essentially, it can be your first step a forward um, way to get towards a career working with animals and here's just a quick little overview um, it's much more complex than this but um, we will be handling so that means touching picking up the animals you'll get to feed them weigh them measure them groom them to look after them and make sure their coat is healthy but also ensuring their environment in which they live is suitable to the species and it's a healthy place for them to live so over the two years, you will complete four different units. One is exam based and the other three are purely assessed through coursework. So tasks you'll do in the classroom um, or out literally in the field, like studying the goats or something like that. So uh, learning aim one, this is the exam based topic that you will do. In this unit, you will learn about all of the physical checks, um, the health check. So these are the things that we look for in an animal to see if they're looking healthy um, or not. We'll know how to identify common diseases such as myxomatosis in rabbits, uh, ringworm, what causes them, how they spread and how we can treat them to prevent uh, their becoming a pandemic of these in the animals that we study.
you'll understand the science. You'd be able to look at an animal and say, oh, potentially he might have parve virus and blah, blah, blah. And you'll be able to assess and say where they might need to go or what, what recommendations they could have. Um, learning aim two, this is where we go into coursework. So the previous unit one, that was all exam based. Learning uh, unit two, this is coursework. And this unit is all about handling animals. OK, so we'll learn about the risks and the health and safety involved in working with animals. But this is great no matter what job you go into, whether you choose animals or not, because um, hazards and risks, all employees have to do risk assessments no matter what uh, line of work they're in. You'll understand the safe handling and restraint techniques, all the different methods we use to restrain and handle our animals, and you'll practice those um, on the animals that we have. Um, oh yeah, and that was that for unit two. Unit three, um, this is more where we look at the legislation, the welfare of animals um, and working animals, how we use animals in society. OK, so, oh, that's the first one. So understand the different roles of animals in society. So we might look at working dogs, such as police dogs, guide dogs. And um, we could look at animals in labs, um, you know, testing, animals that are tested on. Look at working animals in terms of farm work. Um, obviously, we've mentioned the police already, but there's loads. Some people use um, animals in movies. There's a whole host of different ways that they use animals, and we'll get to explore them. We'll also look at the welfare of those animals that we use in society and any legislation, all well, the laws that protect those animals and they're vital. And also about the responsibilities we have as owners or as just members of a society to ensure those animals are well cared for. The final unit you will complete, this is unit five and perhaps a lot of the students' favourite one, it's where we look at animal behaviour. So animals can display a range of different behaviours depending on, um, you know, whether they're happy or clearly not happy. And we will look at that. We will look at animals that are encaged and look at um, their behaviour. We'll look at how we can enrich animals' behaviour to ensure um, their environment meets their requirements and you will monitor and record so you will pick an animal and you will monitor over a lengthy period of time and record any changes in behavior that could lead you to believe that perhaps they're not happy and what you could do to enrich that further now, i've already talked about how you are assessed remember one of your units is exam assessed um, and the other three are all coursework so unit two three and five are all coursework a lot of how we assess you will be practical tasks. So we'll watch you perhaps handle an animal or maybe groom an animal or feed an animal, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll assess how um, well you do that, how comfortable you are at doing that, how you approach the animal. We might carry out discussions where you would um, talk to each other about perhaps a way forward of treating or helping an animal. You might produce a presentation such as a movie or a PowerPoint, even a poster or a leaflet. And sometimes we ask you um, to produce a written report, but often you will have a choice. So it won't be, oh, you just have to do a written report. If that doesn't suit you, you might get to do a leaflet or a PowerPoint. So there's a lot of um, um, there's a lot of opportunity for you to say this is the way I work best this is how I'd better be better at presenting it overall we will grade you as a pass a merit or a distinction so a pass is the equivalent of a level five a merit is the equivalent of a level six seven and a distinction would be eight um, a grade eight and then if you get a distinction in everything the exam board will award you a distinction star which would essentially be a level nine and that is based on all of the portfolio of work that you produce um over the two years and there's nothing to be worried about there because actually it's really nice um to put the portfolio of work and photos that you've done together and there's so much time in the lessons to do that um that it's nothing to be worried about but you do need to be organized now the final thing i want to talk to you about is how anything you learn on this course would be relatable to wherever you go in your future whether it's working with animals or whether you don't want to, you decide not to work with animals and you want to go off and I don't know, maybe a university lecturer or, or whatever. 
There are skills you will take on this course and they will stay with you forever and they will help with your future. It helps you to become independent. Okay, you can problem solve. You can work alone and you can solve a problem and employers absolutely love that. You're not dependent on anybody else to keep asking them for help. You learn to be able to be confident in your own knowledge um, to move forward. OK, you work related learning. So we give you work related scenarios, which, again, as I've already mentioned, you solve uh, risk assessments. I've mentioned with the health and safety, you know, that's transferable in any world of work where you go off to. Even if you want to be the boss, OK, you would have to produce your own risk assessments. All right. And in terms of employability skills, you know, we've mentioned these that you'd be independent, be able to manage your time effectively because you have a range of coursework to complete. Although we said you can work independently, you can also work as a team because that's essentially what you'll be doing when you're handling and looking after and caring for our animals. Um, but also customer awareness, because when we're dealing with animals, we're thinking about, you know, dealing with the pet's owner, okay, and maybe making them, them aware of certain circumstances or situations that they need to be thinking about for their pet. And that might be that they need to be regularly vaccinating them or worming them, or perhaps they haven't followed certain legislation. Problem solving, I know we've already mentioned, but communication here is key. And whether that's communicating with customers or another employee um, or your classmate for a situation you'll certainly be awesome at communication by the end uh, basic literacy and numeracy you know you're going to be writing up projects essentially making wonderful posters leaflets so so it can help you with your literacy and numeracy and um, which employers are obviously really um really you know key on at the moment and then a positive attitude to work you're going to really enjoy this course you're going to come in all motivated and happy and that's going to be a transferable skill for you in your future to learn how to problem solve and enjoy it um, and also all use of it it okay so we'll use a range of it whether that's just the laptops iPads, cameras, all these new technologies, um, data loggers, etc. You will get a chance to have to have a trial of that. So I hope you found this um, PowerPoint useful to give you a little indication about what you could be doing over the two years. Remember, it is a very hands-on, active learning course. So it will be, you know, you will lead a lot of it. You will have to go off and pick a handling technique and handle an animal. You will have to decide whether you want to do a poster or a leaflet. But that gives you the those independent skills that will really help you no matter where you choose to go in life. So if you need to find me, I am Mrs Blackmore. You can find me up in the science office somewhere in the Saltash or just ping me an email. Okay, um, thank you guys. Bye.